at home, um, the oldest one, six, <laughs> and uh, for Menominee Reservation, um, all the people back at home that supported us, and everybody here, Ellen, Donald, all the people at the NAMIs, and all of you guys, um, all you musicians out there that are and working really hard to keep it real. This is for everybody. Presenting the Artist of the Year Award are NAMI Award winners Stevie Salas and Grammy Award winners Dave Abuziz and the bad boy himself, Kelton Coffey. It's time for the final presentation of the evening, I think. And as, this, as the saying goes, you always save the best for last. Yeah. Let's take a look at the contenders for Artist of the Year. The nominees for Artist of the Year are I'll be with you. Jana. Jim Boyd. I was looking for direction as I go. I was looking for a sign to the right road to carry. Joanne Shenandoah. A place for a sky woman to give life, to give birth. Keith Sicola. Shading fast. Chevrons of the setting sun. Rita Coolidge. Love me. Like the ones love me, come rain or come shine. And the artist of the year is Keith Sokola. Chevrons of the setting sun. Um, I always forget to thank people, you know, uh, and there's a lot of them because making the album and being the artist of the year, um, I don't know if they go hand in hand or not, but. Like to record the album, we started three, four years ago out in L.A. We got the old drummer from the Doors out of retirement, John Densmore. And uh, we got one of the bare naked ladies, they came in. And me and Jimmy Vickers rode out from Tempe, Arizona. And we recorded out in Mad Dog Studio out there. And that was kind of historic and a little bit intimidating at times. You know, I'm working out songs with this drummer and realizing that he sat in this spot and worked out songs 20 years ago. And then we recorded the album in Tempe, two different studios, creative studio, digital sound. Recorded up in Minneapolis, recorded in a home studio, recorded illegally and legally. <laughs> um, the, my bandmates I forgot to thank on the drums tonight, who's also filling in, uh, Jason Kay. Jimmy Vickers, who helped me a long time on bass, Albert Cinco on the hoops, and all the brothers and sisters who've been Frybread singers and dancers throughout this country, and, and my family back home, Kisakola in the Shinnecost, and Dojiba, Asabe Kane Zagai Gunning. I'm from Minnesota, Ojibwa. And uh, I'd like to thank the Boys Fort Band of Ojibwa Indians. But I'd like to remind us all, from my friend John told me last night, and I believe this, that we were human beings before they made us Indians. And we have to remember that we were human beings, and we always are human beings. <clears throat> I'd like to thank my wife, Patricia Sicola, and any of you spouses know that it's really hard and to, to put up with a musician in the first place. And, and what I told her when we, we first met, she knew I was a musician, so she never tried to change me. And that kind of helps, I think, if you want to have a long relationship. And, and that supportive relationship, too. And then all the other artists, like Jim Boyd is a wonderful singer, a songwriter. Um, Rita Coolidge, to me, she really means a lot to me in what she's done for our people. And it's an honor, I don't even see her here, but I, she knows a sister. Jana, what a wonderful young talent and a wonderful young sister supporting this. Without people like her, we have no future. So I believe that. And Joanne Shenandoah, Joanne and I, we've been gone a long time, maybe as long as Bill Miller and I. 
But there's a lot to thank and, and a lot to be grateful for, and mostly I'm gracious. And I think the first virtue that Anishinaabe people learn is humility. Without humility, we block the grace of God, or Gitche Manadu, whatever you want to call it. Miigwech. Uh -huh. For a very special Nama Hall of Fame induction, please welcome back Little Stephen. Thank you. It is uh, with great pride and honor uh, I am here tonight to uh, pay tribute to a man who was both America's and Native America's first rock and roll guitar star, the late Link Ray. Link started his first band in the 1940s with his brothers Doug and Vernon in Portsmouth, Virginia. They played Western Swing, or as Link would put it, uh, rock and roll before it was rock and roll. Somewhere along the way, in an event we in the Underground Garage consider one of the most important events in rock and roll history, and uh, certainly evidence that the pen is mightier than the sword, he took a pencil and poked some holes in his speakers. And that created this wonderful distortion that has inspired all of us ever since. Um, the legend goes that Link and the Raymen were backing up a group called the Diamonds who had a hit called The Stroll in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, and you know, in those days, uh, there were a lot of dances that uh, had songs. Believe it or not, people danced to rock and roll back then. Um, when Link and his band were on the stage, the promoter asked them to play a stroll, but uh, Link really didn't know anything, so his brother started playing a stroll beat on the drums. And it was that moment Link had the epiphany, and out came that uh, guitar lick that we would all come to know as Rumble. Half Shawnee Indian, and in 1947, 48, uh, me and my brothers got together uh, a band, and so uh, it was happening in Memphis with Elvis. The Grand Ole Opry was in course, Nashville, yeah, and here we were in, in, in Washington D.C. doing the same thing. Same sort of thing. You know, it was the same kind of music in these different different areas. You know, and Elvis opened the door for Chuck Berry, Fast Domino, Link Ray, uh, and Fabian, Frankie Avalon, and and rock and roll. Yeah. Elvis opened yeah. the door for, for for Little Richard for everybody. Do you understand? Oh, this totally is 1956, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then I came out of the hospital, got my brothers to get together, went down to Fredericksburg, Virginia. You know, 1957, sure. jumped up on stage and we was playing live, um, and uh, and and the, and the t and the TV host, whose name is Milk Grant, brought the Diamonds Got out it. to this Got to it. the live show uh -huh. in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Link played me a stroll, strolling. So this obviously this, this yeah yeah yeah. in 1957, number so one, this in Billboard <laughs> with the Diamonds, yeah, yeah. and then Bill and then he asked and then he asked. Mo Grant said, Link, play me a stroll. I said, I don't know a stroll. Doug says, my brother Doug says, I know the beat of a stroll, you know. Uh -huh. You know? So I said, my Jesus God, you know, brought me out of the death house where I was supposed to be dead. Sure, sure. Took me out of the death house, put me back with my brothers again, zapped. Yeah, and the rest is history. Rumble would go on to sell four million copies. His music in the 90s was featured in a lot of movies. Pulp Fiction, Breathless, Desperado, Independence Day, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, and a lot more. And over the past few years, he's finally been recognized as one of the greatest guitarists ever by Rolling Stone magazine. He was inducted into the Washington Area Music Association Hall of Fame. But on November 5th, 2005, 
heaven started rocking a, little, a whole lot harder when at 76 uh, Link Ray passed away. Uh, he shared a stage with Patsy Cline, my good friend Bruce Springsteen, and just everybody else and, and everybody in between. Influenced Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Pete Townsend from The Who, Dave Davies from The Kinks, and thousands of other guitar players throughout the world. Um, and all throughout, uh, there's, there was never an interview where Link Ray did not mention his Shawnee Indian heritage. Yeah. <laughs> Accepting the Nama Hall of Fame Award on Link Ray's behalf is his eldest daughter, Beth Ray Webb, daughter, Rhonda Sayan, eldest grandsons, Tommy Webb Jr. and Chris Webb. I just want to thank uh, the NAMIs, Ellen and Donald. If it wasn't for the fact that I hadn't met Donald in LA, we probably wouldn't have been standing here right now accepting this award from my grandfather. Thank y'all very much. For a special tribute performance, please welcome grandson of Link Ray, Chris Webb, Gary Small, and Jason Cage. That was Rawhide. Now performing Link Ray's signature song, The Rumble, Chris Webb on lead guitar.
Man, Woo. that's the only time I think I ever jam, man, back there, I backstage. Know, like, yeah! We're shaking and baking, man. <laughs> oh, man, it's been a wonderful evening. Sure that's, uh, all things have to come to an end, though. That's what they say, man. But they say every end is a new beginning. I don't know who said it, but they definitely said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's been a wonderful ride. Uh, sure. I am James Jones. I didn't introduce myself properly in the... Uh, we are Navajo, so... That's right. We apologize for that right now. Uh, <laughs> I am a Tuchini, Redwater Clan. I am born for the bear people. And my paternal grandparents are the uh, Tangle Clan. And maternal grandparents are the uh, Water Edge people. So uh, all the way from Farmington, New Mexico. And, yeah. um, I'm Ernest Davis, Associate Third, born with the Slim Fast Clan. <laughs> <laughs> We like to thank the Seminole Tribe of Florida, especially Mitchell Cypress and William Osceola for uh, believing in two natives yeah. to, uh, to get it done. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Thanks to our sponsors, the Shakopee, Midewalk and the Sioux community, the Oneida Na Indian Nation of New York, the Miccosukee Tribe of Florida, the Pueblo of Sandia, and the National Indian Gaming Association. We also like to thank the Seminole Broadcasting Indigenous Peoples Music and Diana Big Mountain and the House of Puppets. House of Puppets. Yeah. Oh, wow. And special thanks to all the talented performers, presenters, and nominees here this evening. Right on. Let's listen to the mayor. <laughs> Unpresented categories are Best Compilation Recording The Collection Brule Flutist of the Year Joseph Firecrow Gospel Christian Inspirational Recording I'll Run to You Marlena Group of the Year Arrow Best Historical Recording the soundtrack of a people, various artists. Best instrumental recording, Arvel Bird Live, Arvel Bird. Best new age recording, Time for Truth, Douglas Bluefeather. Best powwow recording, Straight Up Northern, Black Eagle. Best producer, Stefan Gelfoss and Alex Salzman, American Indian Christmas. Best Spoken Word Recording, The Keepers of the Earth, Red Feather Woman. Best Traditional Recording, Way of Life, Lakota Thunder. Best World Music Recording, People of Peace, R. Carlos Nakai Quartet. Native Heart, John Densmore, Native Americana. The recipient of the Humanitarian Award is Harold Owens.
Post-production editing brought to you by Foxwoods Creative Arts.